All nodes of the pattern engine have a very important setting to be aware of. It's found under the layering group and is called the layer cutoff. The layer cutoff is a performance optimization for the node. If it is set too low, you will find you'll have seams happening inside of your pattern under certain conditions. If it is set too high, your FPS count will drop dramatically. So it is important to always optimize this setting. I find it best once you have a pattern that works for you to drop this value down and see when seams are appearing and find a value where the seams disappear. To better understand this setting, let's take a look at an illustration. The pattern engine by default works off grid cells, so you create a unique grid cell on each point of your model. The boundaries of these grid cells are fixed, so you cannot change them. If I have content sitting within each grid cell and not overlapping into a neighboring cell, a layer cutoff of one works well. If I take one of these cells and start to move them into neighboring cells, so they overlap into neighboring cells, a layer cutoff of one would no longer be enough and the result would be that you cut off some parts of the cell. So in this case, you would have to raise the layer cutoff to two to account for the cell shifting into the neighboring cells. If I move it even further, so more than one cell, I would have to raise the layer cutoff to three. So in this case, we need to evaluate three different cells. So the first one, second one, and the third one. So a layer cutoff of three is required. The same applies when you scale content. So a scale content with a layer cutoff of one will recut the cell contents to the original boundaries of the cell. So I'll need to raise the layer cutoff to two to also evaluate at least one neighboring cell. 